Disgraced state Senator John Salona is once again a free man. Salona was fitted with an electronic monitoring bracelet before walking out of prison late this morning. Now Target 12 has learned new details on where Salona landed a job that helped him score his early release. Target 12 investigator Tim White is live now with details, including exclusive video of Salona's first step to freedom. After two and a half years in both federal and state prison, former legislator John Salona is now a free man, relatively speaking, with state parole and federal probation. Salona will still be under the watchful eye of authorities for two years. This is exclusive Target 12 video of John Salona stepping out of the minimum security lockup at the ACI in Cranston. Salona wore a Red Sox championship hat from 2004, the same year he stepped down from the state senate amid allegations that ultimately brought him down. About an hour later, Salona emerges from another building at the ACI clutching the monitoring system that will keep watch over him for the next year. Senator, anything to say to the people of Rhode Island? Any comment at all? Salona, once one of the most powerful legislators on Smith Hill, was charged in 2005, part of the sweeping federal probe, Operation Dollar Bill. He was accused of selling his political influence for personal gain. Target 12 has learned Salona, the former chairman of the Senate Corporations Committee, landed a job here at Atlantic Golf Centers in Attleboro. The job required by the parole board to gain early release, he starts on Monday. Salona pleaded guilty in 2005, pledging to cooperate with investigators. He served two years in federal prison before being sent to the ACI in March on state corruption charges. Salona will be on electronic monitoring until July 2010. John Salona will live once again in North Providence as part of his two-year federal probation. Salona has to perform eight hours of community service every week. The federal probation office tells me a nonprofit has not yet been approved. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.